All right, well, I have one twitching jig. It is this 3 8 ounce uh, that I picked up from Sportsman. The one and only twitching jig I have that I have set up on this. Uh, it was a $20 combo from Bymart. I swapped out the reel for a uh, Nakuma reel. But I'm gonna hope that I can get a fish on this and not lose this jig, so. There we go. So we keep it on. Well, there's a bunch of rocks down there, so kind of got to be careful for those. Oh, is there, is there some decent bank around here? It definitely feels like he's gotten himself around. There's definitely some rocks down there. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna see. Where's a good bank spot here? Maybe over here. Man, that feels like a really good fish, but I am using a uh, little seven pound rod or a seven foot rod here. My concern is with all these rocks down there, it's gonna get around something. All right, I think the best bank spot going to be to my left here if I can get this fish to that point. <sighs> Came up and over something. Jeez. Yeah, that is a good fish for sure because this drag is set pretty tight. Oh. I'm really trying to figure out a good spot if I can get this fish in to build a bank it because as you guys can see I'm in all these these rocks out here. Whew. You are smoking my arm, buddy. If I can keep them like that, I can actually kind of possibly move, but let's see here. Fish. Oh my goodness. All right. Of course, now you're going where I wouldn't mind uh, trying to land you. Get some leverage here. Oh. All right, I might lose you here. All right, well, <laughs> this looks better right down here. Oh, but there's a lot of, man, still a lot of rocks though. If it's a Chinook, it's definitely gonna be a, uh, a wild fish. So I've got 
the camera set up right here so I can uh, not really need to get this fish out of the water. I've got a pair of pliers in my back pocket right now. There are a few rocks right out here, but this is probably the best spot to uh, try and get this guy in here. I've never hooked a uh, salmon on this rod before, as I was mentioning. <coughs> as I was mentioning before I uh, started fishing, this was just a little cheap $20 combo. This guy's definitely giving me a uh, run for my money here. There's our fish. Oh, he might have been a little wrapped up. Oh, that is a studly looking native Chinook. Oh, come on, buddy, get over here and we'll get you off of there, man. Wow. It is a tank. <laughs> oh, get away from the rock, bud. Oh. Man. Yeah, I'm reeling up. Oh, come on, dude. You definitely have my gear at its limit here, this rod. It's just because it's so small. All right, let's do this. If I can get you in between. Oh man, come on. All right, he's right. Right here. Just need to get them a little bit closer to the bank. So yeah, I got these pliers in the back pocket so we can get a, a quick release. Oh my God. That is a tank, you guys. I really do not want to get this fish out of the water. I've never, that is by far the biggest salmon that I've ever hooked. Thank you. For a wonderful, wonderful fight. Wow. Man, those twitching jigs, you guys, if you guys have never tried twitching jigs, when you get into these slower moving pools like this, uh, usually I'm throwing spinners, but if spinners aren't working, uh, it's always nice to try out some twitching jigs because you never know when those things are gonna work out for you. That might've been our same fish rolling over there. Never know when they'll work out for you in the bite that you get on those things is actually really exciting. Drag on this real thing. <laughs> Brand spanking new. Give him a little. Just a little. That's too much. Too much. There we go. You hit it last second right here too. Until it just flipped on my line. I'm back at some rocks here, as you can see. Another guy rolling up there. I see now they're all rolling over there. This guy's on. All 
All right, I'm gonna try not to lose this fish, but also try to get away from where I am. Let's see how it's on these rocks over here. Just the power of these fish uh, definitely makes this uh, fishery very addictive. Obviously, you guys see me do a lot of uh, jetty fishing and stuff like that. But to get one of these coho, chinook, or steelhead on a line always feels good. There we go. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I can see another big rock out here, but I should be able to get this fish like right here. Maybe even a little bit more to my right. It's kind of a good idea if you're out here and you know you've got the uh, good potential of hooking a native fish to kind of have a spot in mind where you're gonna land a fish. Instead, I've always got my pliers in my back pocket ready to go. Yeah, this looks... Man, this fish is just <laughs> staying down. But if I get up over here... There we go. I'm going to get a little more leverage and we can actually see this fish down here. Oh, and it's just making its way upriver. There we go. Turn around, buddy. Have a good feeling. It's going to be another really big, big fish. There we go. Let's see if we can get him in front of us and see what we got going on down here. Oh, I saw you. Oh, wow. That is definitely another big one. We don't want to tire these guys out too much, though. Luckily, I've got this nice pool here. Oh, we're getting them all going. Come on, buddy. Oh, I can't even get this thing tired out enough to get close enough even uh be able to release them yet and it's going back out it's a boot it's a boot got a pair of boots today We should slide down this out. Gonna come up to the top. Yeah. It's a Chinook and it is a native. So the quicker I can get this guy in, obviously, the better. So let's uh let me try and see if I can oh, get back down here. Not lose this fish. It is just a single point hook there we go yeah this looks like it'll be a Ooh, get away from those rocks buddy come on up man before you get wrapped around some rocks Whew, man i see my leader oh and i see a massive massive fish all right ready to come in There we go. There we go. Oh. It's got some color to it, but that is a tank. All right, guys, that thing is going back. All right, buddy. Thank you, thank you. You ready? That felt amazing. That was probably about the size of uh, that first fish that I caught on the 
twitching jig. That one, I don't know if I brought it up. I've had a lot of luck so far this season. Anything that's got this, this red on there, but that's the uh, 3 8 ounce fire truck. Seems to, uh, I don't know what it is about that red. Chinooks seem to uh, like this red this season. Man, catching those fish, you guys, is a ton of fun. It's uh, too bad I've missed so much fishing uh, this season. I don't know if I'd actually brought up, talked to a lot of you guys online or whatever, but a lot of back issues, shoulder issues, just things that have uh, been keeping me off the river. Actually makes for a really good day, especially to get on some tanks like that. They are some older fish, not the coho that I'm looking for, but as many of you guys know, any fish on the line is uh, gonna make for a good day. So let's throw a few more casts and uh, see if we can't get one more fish on.